We already had one before, so why not something different? Why? We went with another ESS supercharger. This is the fastest header job I've ever done. All right, so we got the two resonators. Man, it sounds good. Guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. You guys saw the last video in chronological order. You just saw the TSP, the Texas Speed Editor, side by side with the Cooks. We decided to go with the Cooks. Kind of a cool video because we had them side by side. Not many people on YouTube have done that at all. Go check it out. But anyway, we are getting ready for the supercharger to go on from ESS that we revealed recently. We have Corsa Active Extreme Mufflers, the whole catback system on this car. <laughs> And we're doing something else that's interesting. I like loud noises, but I want something easier to live with maybe. These are their new resonator. This is supposed to get rid of any of that rasp. Supposed to clean up the exhaust note just a little bit. This is about my 14th or 15th time doing headers on jack stand. So please give it a big old thumbs up if you can share in my pain. All right, guys, we just finished. Well, yesterday it took me no time at all. Honestly, this is the fastest header job I've ever done. I didn't have to shift the motor over or anything. The Cooks headers are absolutely insane. We also got the resonators cut and installed into behind the X-Pipe. Man, it sounds good. The car's been sitting overnight, so we're going to get a true cold start. We're going to do some res, do some flybys, do all that. And I want to discuss, I want to talk about why we went with another ESS supercharger. What is the logic behind that? We already had one before, so why not something different? We're going to discuss all that in today's video and answer all of your questions, hopefully. So let's go. All right, so we got the two resonators off of the X-Pipe. I did have to cut away the Corsa logo there just to be able to slip these forward a little bit, but the fitment is on point and they sound amazing. A little shot here in the back, so lots of ground clearance, but let's get a cold start. It's been sitting all night. I think you're going to like the sound. The first cold start with full Corsa exhaust. My ear drums are bleeding. Tell me what you think in the comments when you hear this. So the idol's coming back down. Take a listen. Go do some revs, some flybys, that whole thing. With long tubes and coarse extreme, it is wake the dead loud. And it can get raspy depending on the lead pipe choice you decide to go with. We have fixed that. Now we have fixed that. So we are here a day later because I gave it a day to see if I could just, you know, I, I don't know, maybe I'm getting older. I just want like deep and mellow. Plus we have the ESS supercharger going on and I want to be able to hear it uh, while I'm driving without being just completely killed by exhaust noise. So these sound amazing with the resonators. It really cleaned up a lot of that tinny thin walled like metal uh, metallic sound that was coming out of the back of the car. All of that's pretty much gone. It's about 95% gone. The small ones are about four inches long or so, the actual resonated portion of them. And it dropped the noise level down to almost like the Corsa Extreme with stock headers, okay? So it's about that same level. But if you go wide open throttle, guys are headers they're gonna stream and they're cheap the resonators are really not that expensive Just remember to measure 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 before you cut we didn't get the big ones that would have been too much the small ones are perfect I didn't think that they would be but they are with so many different boost options on the market twin turbo centuries root style blowers twin screws all those different things that have been out for eons now since the s550 has been released why back to an ESS well, we're gonna talk about it. Let's do some revs. Now remember, this is an X-pipe, so it's still not as deep as an H-pipe, but uh, Corsa and Lethal do have the double H-pipe uh, if you wanna go with something like that. Let's do some drop bys let's go.
Sounds good. I really am enjoying this new setup, but let's have our little chit chat about ESS. So there is a lot of choices for boost on these cars. So why back to an ESS? Honestly, long story short, I really stand behind the product. I think it delivers. I think it's very, very cost effective. And the bang for the buck is just, it's just all there. The features, the benefits, the cost, everything. It just, it's like the stars align and you have the perfect century blower. So if you want big, big power and adjustability, of course, you're gonna go turbo. You can pick your turbo sizes. You can have controllers, you can have this. And I mean, there's sky's the limit and those things get very expensive depending on the setup that you want. You can make a lot of power and it's adjustable. So you can have a nice daily setup up a nice boost daily setup or you can turn it up at the drag strip and just absolutely haul the mail but I kind of like the linear power pull of the ESS because I 90% daily drive my car very easy to live with it sounds delicious nothing wrong with like Whipple or VMP or any of those they all feel good and they're very brutal down low they feel amazing but with the 10 R80 it shifts so it should minus the first gear, it shifts up high. So with the Century, that's where you're making most of your peak power. I like that feeling that you get out of the car. It's like a roller coaster, okay? It's not so brutally overwhelming down low that you just have to fight for traction. Yes, there's things like drag radials. Yes, this car has them. The ESS just answers everything. You get more CFM flow. Uh, it's a lighter weight system compared to the other name, big name brands that have been out for years on the market as far as centuries go. The past couple of years, they've really made a lot of headway in the Mustang community. And that was honored to be a big part of that in the beginning with the Mach 1. But now we're doing it again with this car and we're gonna have a lot of fun. It's hard to pass up on the ESS given the cost because it's all wholesale pricing. But if you guys are interested in the best price, hit up my boys over there at HBR Automotive. Hit up Ken at hbrautomotive.com for great ESS purchases and installation packages. Second to none, he's the best. I mean, and as far as tuning, Wingard, he's the preferred tuner on the ESS website. Wingard is the only tuner that I trust out there right now, honestly. But if you wanna buy the kit in a different way, just email my boy Brevin over there, brevin at esstuning.com and let him know that you saw this video, Xander referred you, and he will hook you up with the Xander special. You'll get some cool stuff for free, and I don't want you to miss out on free stuff, so just let him know that I sent you, and he'll take very good care of you, just like he has all the other hundreds of people that have emailed him in the past from watching the videos. So don't miss out on free stuff. I mean, honestly, that's like the short and sweet of it. ESS is something that I really like. It's a product that I really, really like, and I wanted to run again with an automatic transmission because we want to get back into drag racing a little bit. Shifting gears is fun. I love it to death, but if you want to go real, real fast, you need an auto or something, some kind of combination of like that. Sounds great. Hey, let me know in the comments down below, what do you think about this exhaust setup? Is it your cup of tea or not? I mean, you can still do this same kind of setup with an H5 and it would sound like even more deep and mean, I think. And we may actually do that in the future uh, and see what it sounds like with these residents. I think it would just be like growly and mean and deep. Anyway, but I digress. Continuing on about the ESS, we'll wrap up this video um, because I think it's getting lengthy. Um, the ESS weighs the less out of all the competition for centrifugal blowers. It's gonna flow the most CFM. It's gonna cost less. Like, this brand, this brand, ESS. Like, where's the discussion there? It's a hands down win for ESS tuning, honestly. I mean, it's all there. It's like the stars align. It's a great kit. And I wanted to run it again because we it, the maintenance on it is great. It weighs like freaking 50 pounds, very adjustable. Belts, belts, like swapping belts is seriously easy, easy, easy. It's already set up for 10 rib. So if you want, if that's your direction in the future is to go big, 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 big power. Yeah, I can't talk big, big power. You don't have to spend extra money. It's not like you're buying a Whipple plus, you know, a 10 rib setup plus crank support and all that stuff. It uses, speaking of which, it uses the stock harmonic balancer, which is a big, big positive thing for any kind of belt driven boost on these coyotes so you don't need that crank support at all i mean it's it's a clear win as far as engineering and design and 
it's just nothing. There's nothing bad to say about it. Nothing. Maintenance is easy. It's, it's just a clear win. So I'm really looking forward to being able to put this blower on this car and turning it up as the story unfolds, as we dive into this adventure of this white 2022 Mustang GT and really hone in on the story. What are we going to do with this car? It's only going to get more crazy and faster from here, but we're going to be respectful to it and we're going to take care of it. We're not going to beat it up. We're not going to trash it. None of that. So if you have lasted this long in the video, I very much appreciate it. And if you are not subscribed yet, I don't know what you're waiting on because it's free and not much this day and age is. So I'd appreciate it. It really helps the channel grow. And let me know what you think about the ESS Superchargers. What would your, your boost pick be? If, if you were brand new to the Mustang, or maybe you've been in the Mustang game for a long time, what is your favorite type of boost? Just let me know. It may not even be ESS. It may be something different. And uh, check out HPR Automotive. Check out ESSTuning.com and check out Wingard Performance for tuning. He is the man. So we are tuned already for the headers with Wingard and we are gonna do some spicy stuff in the future. So really looking forward to it. God bless all of you guys. I'll see you in the next video and take care. Have a great day. See you later. Bye.